Hi there guys, welcome back and um, welcome back to my next video um, where I'm going to be fitting this. So this is the rear engine mount um, for the Fiesta ST. Um, I think these are just the hard, harder bushes than what's on the original. When you rev the engine, um, the engine flexes loads so this should reduce the engine flex by half I think at least. Um, and also eliminates the wheel hop when you're pulling away. Um, uh, the, the these cars are quite renowned for for wheel hopping, so um, I don't think it's going to get rid of it completely. But this is going to make um, a massive difference to the car. Um, I think the only downside to these, uh, when the cars are sort of on idle, tick over, um, there you can feel a bit more vibration in the car with the engine vibration and stuff. So. Um, I will try and do a little bit of a test um, um, with how the vibration is before and after. Um, I don't know how successful the test is going to be, but I think it will be enough to show a difference. Um, or I hope it doesn't show a difference, so it doesn't mean there's that much more vibration, but time will tell I suppose. So um, let's move the camera. I'll just unbox this so everyone can see what's in the box. I've not even undone it myself. Um, and then I'll we'll get the car up in the air and we'll we'll start fitting this. So. Okay, so this is how the box looks when it turns up. Um, not sure if there's instructions in here, um, but let's just have a look inside. So that's everything out of the box. So what we've got is we've got some assembly grease, um, a steel uh, insert, two rubber, uh, sorry, nylon or hard plastic bushes, um, an aluminium insert which looks like it's for these and then the main part itself um, power flex with one bush already in and one not so um, I guess these bushes go in here and then that goes through the middle I'm not going to um, assemble it yet just so I can see um, how the other one looks when I take it off um, I don't think you can even see this once the engine guards off uh, all back on so um, let's spin around, I'll get the car in position and we'll um, go from there. Right okay so just before we get the car up in the air um, I'm going to do my little test. So what I've got here um, is a cup of water. I'm going to start the car up from cold um, and just see how much vibration there is in this water. I've made sure the cup's not touching anything on the edge at all. Um, and I think I'll do this before and after and I'll see how much difference there is in the vibration of the water. It might not make, I might not be able to see any difference or there might be a massive difference. I, I don't know. I've not seen anyone do any tests like this before either so um, I like to be a little bit inventive <laughs> um, just for my sort of knowledge more than anything. So I'll start the car now. The, the car's not been started yet, so um So obviously we're in cold start at the moment, so um just let that sort of drop down so the revs are sort of below 1000 rpm. Um as you can see there's not a lot of movement with that water anyway. As I'm sitting here now, I can feel a, a slight rumble of the engine, but I think that will die down when the cold start drops down, which it's now doing. Um, okay, so we're now sitting at a thousand revs. Um, that's a good angle there. So there is vibration in the water. Um, that's sort of what I expected. Um, so let's fit the mount 
and do the same test again. I'll put the car back in the exact position um, and we'll see what we've got from there. Be back in a bit. Right guys, so what we have here is we've got screws like this and there's just a little plastic clip here um, and here. So I'll take these two plastic clips out first, unscrew these screws that are dotted about and then this guard should come off. So let's just uh, see how we can get these off here. Okay, so that's, that's all the clips off. So. Um, what I can see now, I'm not going to pull it yet, is there's um, there's a, t uh, a little bit of this cover tucked in here. It's also tucked at the front. Well, you can see the front's already come out, so um, oh, I think you need to pull forward first. Oh, and that, well, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. And that's that cover off. Okay, so I have a. Um, well, I've got a, I don't know what I've got here, it's a, a 50, uh, sorry a 17 and a 16 socket, so that's a 17 and the other one's a 16, so I think I just need to loosen these two bolts, it looks like they're both captive on either side so you only doesn't need, you don't need to hold anything um, and then this is the drop link that drops out so let me just um, see if I can undo these two bolts and see where we go from there. remember the big bit goes to the back big the back small the front um, let's go to the bench and we'll see what the differences are okay so this is how the mount came off the car um, you'll see the reason for this offset bit I'll show you when we get back under the car but as you can see um, look how much flex there is in both of these massive amount of flex there um, so obviously the old one or sorry the new one and the old one that's the difference obviously these bushes are hard or a lot harder than these so um, let's just um, assemble this so this insert is for here these one of these each side and then this offset bit will fit through them and that will be how it looks so um, let me just speed this up get this assembled and then we'll go and fit it on the car so there you go fully assembled um look uh, there's hardly any movement in there at all compared to that one um, okay so I'll flip back in the car and I'll show you the reason why this is uh, offset but it doesn't matter what way you assemble it because you can turn it either way so uh, back under the car well okay so the the, the reason that the difference is is um, is this really this is in line here and you've got this gap to fill here so obviously this then fits in that way round um, this is easy so I'm just going to wiggle this in and see how tight this actually is going to be I think this is I think this is going to be tighter So I think what I'll do is I'll try and get that bolt in there first. Okay. Yeah, okay, I 
I'll leave it like that and then try and push this up into place. It's got to go up a lot more as yet. Oh, that might have gone too far. Okay, all right, there you go, easy peasy. So, all I need to know how to do is just tighten these up. So that is it. I've just taken out a massive amount of flex now on that. Loads, loads of difference. Um, so all I need to do now is in, to install the, the cover back on. So let's go back to that. Okay, so we need to reinstall the, the um, under tray and then we'll do a vibration test and see how much of a difference it's going to make. It, they're significantly harder, so. Um, I think there's definitely going to be a definitely a vibration um, difference, but we'll see in a minute. Right, here we go. Let's put this together. clear up get the car down and I'll see you back inside the car okay so we're back in the car um, we'll do a start up test now I've got the water back in the same place as we had before uh, this will hopefully give us a rough idea what the difference of the vibrations we've got are um, I don't really know what to expect but I suppose this is to start the car up and see if I can feel a difference definitely notice a difference in the um, I can feel a bit more vibration while we're on tick over we're still on cold start at the moment um, I'll try and put these videos side by side um, from before and after to see if we can see a difference um, but we're now sort of the revs are now coming down we're now sort of Oh, it's made a massive difference now just by coming off cold start. So, this is what we've got now. Doesn't really feel much different, to be honest with you. Um, it's marginally more, a bit more vibration, but not enough that I'd ever notice unless I knew I'd fit the mount, I don't think. Um, so yeah, I think that's alright. I'm going to give it a test drive in a little while and see if I can feel a difference. Um, but I'll do an update video on that um, rather than do it now. Um, so I'll, um, yeah, that's, I'm happy with that. Took me about, I think if, if I weren't filming it probably would have took about, well, no more than an hour. Um, you just, it's hard when you're filming and putting a time on something because it takes you twice as long to set everything up and, and whatnot. Um, but there you go. Um, so my next video will be hopefully me either installing my intercooler or the exhaust, Scorpion exhaust. Um, I don't know which one's going to turn up first, but hopefully that turns up this week so I can fit it next week. And uh, so yeah, just like and subscribe to any of my videos if you want to see some more comment and I always try and answer any questions or try and show something if someone was sort of interested in seeing something um, so yeah hopefully I will see you um, on the next one cheers boys <laughs>